wireless body sensor. So this is in terms of the Internet of Things, basically where we get measured body signals. Um, it goes through a medium, so it's either a cell phone or a laptop, and then goes through the internet to another end, where it could be a doctor, so anyone who's interested in measuring a day-to-day -day, um, analysis of the body signals, right? For an example, it's a hearing aid. So the for the hearing aid, what we have to do, there's two components to it, two main components. One, we have to design a miniaturized antenna that could fit inside the hearing aid. So right now, what we have here is a really small antenna, so it's like a butterfly antenna compared to our classic dipole antenna. And what it does is basically we design in free space. So basically in space just when we design it to a specific frequency. Afterwards, when you put it close to the head, what happens is there's mismatch because the body is very lost. So that's where this part comes in. So we have a low-cost onboard DNA. Um, it's basically an intelligent control system because right now for hearing aids what we have is they were near like a metal object, right? So we basically get high squeaky noise and this is a problem because they have to do some manual adjustments themselves to basically get rid of that noise. What we have here is an intelligent system that basically does um, basically gets controlled by the microcontroller to the matching network that tunes the capacitors and basically tunes the network such that we have full match to the antenna so all the power is being transferred to the antenna and we get the best performance possible. So that's this. It also has to be low cost and fit in a hearing aid because the hearing aid is very small. So that's the design hazard that we have. So our low cost onboard VNA is very close to the expensive VNA that we have in lab. And when we take measurements of it, we actually find that it's very, very close. So all we need to do now is calibrate it such that we get the actual measurement of the impedance here and we can put it into the microcontroller such that it uses its algorithm to basically tune this pi network. Another application is this wireless ocular platform. So it's basically um, a contact lens with multi-layer antennas. Uh, we put on the eye to measure glucose level and that basically sends through the internet and basically the doctor gets um, a day-to-day -day basic performance of their glucose level penetration. Thank you.